What is going on you guys? Christy Anderson here with One Fish Two Fish and today I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown of the three best beach fishing, pier fishing, and jetty rigs. Right here, we've got the high-low rig, you guys. You guys can pre-make these, or if you guys wanna buy these already made at the taco shop, it's gonna look just like this, or you guys can make your own, which I highly recommend. All right, so here's the high-low rig, you guys. We've got the top hook right here. It's just a one-out hook. You guys are gonna be using a one or a two-out hook. They're small hooks. On the bottom, we've got a second hook right down here. And then we've got your sinker, it's just a three ounce. So you guys, these are super versatile. One of the most popular uh, rigs that you guys are gonna see a ton of beach anglers and pier anglers fishing with right here. Uh, this can catch you anything from pompano, trout, sea mullet, flounder, redfish, you name it. Any of your game fish right out here in the ocean, mother ocean, you guys can be catching right here on this very simple bottom rig, AKA a high-low rig. So for baits that you guys are gonna be using, uh, you guys can put anything from uh, blood worms to cut shrimp, pieces of cut shrimp. If you guys have sand fleas, you guys can pick up sand fleas right here, uh, especially in the summertime. You guys can just dig in the ground, go to your tackle shop. Sand fleas are great on here. Uh, if you guys wanna use fiddler crabs, if you guys are fishing for sheep's head, you guys can put live mullet, you guys can put shrimp, uh, squid, Pretty much any kind of bait that you guys can find will be perfect on here. Honestly, I started out with blood worms and especially for kids, you guys can pick up tons of stuff just on pretty much any kind of cut bait on these little hooks right here. So right here is the most popular rig, one of the most popular rigs that you're gonna probably see about 85% of beach anglers, jetty anglers, pier anglers using. Uh, again, this is your bottom rig, your high-low rig where you've got your hook up top. You've got the hook at the bottom, and then you've just got your sinker down below. All right, so a quick variation of the high-low rig is called a dropper rig. All we did is we just dropped off, we got rid of one of the hooks. So this just has one hook, and then it still has your sinker at the bottom. We're gonna tie it the same way, except we're only putting on one of these hooks and not two. So the reason that you guys would be using this is if you guys are stepping it up and wanna use larger bait. Say you guys wanna use fresh cut blue crab and you're using bigger chunks, say even a half of a blue crab or just like a quarter chunk of blue crab, then you would definitely wanna think about using this dropper rig because it just gets too bulky, there's too much bait on there and you really wanna make sure that you're presenting the bait properly to the fish. So I definitely would recommend a dropper rig Especially if you guys are trying to pick up bigger game fish and you have bigger cut pieces on here. Um, this five aught hook right here is perfect for this dropper rig. And then we've just went up to a four ounce pyramid sinker, really again, depending on how much bait you have on and how much you're trying to hold ground while you cast it out. So this is just quick variation of your high-low rig, AKA also known as your bottom rig. Just a simple dropper rig. Again, it's just got your one hook, and then at the end, it's got your sinker. All right, y'all, so this right here, this is the dropper rig that Christy's talking to y'all about. And Christy and I, we use this dropper rig if we're, like Christy was saying, just like a quarter chunk of blue crab, half a chunk of blue crab. We also use this when sometimes we're like catching tons of fish with the high-low rig and we're just going through tons of bait. All you do is just drop it and just use one hook on it. So super easy. That is the dropper rig, the high-low rig. That is probably the most popular beach fishing rig right there. Yep, is right that here. Variation. It's super basic, extremely versatile. Again, if you guys want to weed through some of the smaller fish and you just want to catch some bigger game fish, definitely think about tying yourself on a quick dropper rig. All right, y'all. So the second most popular rig for fishing on the beach in the piers is going to be the fish finder rig. You guys, the fish finder rig is also known as the Carolina rig to bass people, but saltwater, we have a different name for it. It's called the fish finder rig, and it's very easy. This is, this is the easiest rig known to mankind. So all it is, is you have your main line right here, and we've got this two-way swivel right here, and that's gonna stop our weight right here. So the weight's gonna slide up and down as we cast. We've got a bead right there to stop it, right at this two-way swivel. So this right here is gonna hold bottom. And then we've got our leader line behind that. We've got our, this is about a five watt hook right here. So the fish finder rig is great. It is the, it is extremely versatile. Cause look, it's just gonna sit on the bottom and uh, this is perfect. You're fishing right off the beach, off the pier. You guys, this rig can catch you anything from 
you could use a smaller hook right here and you can use live pinfish, live finger mullet, catching Spanish mackerel, bluefish, flounder. This is a great flounder rig. So, and you can also scale this up or down depending on just the size of the bait, the size of fish and the gear that you have. So again, this is the fish finder rig. Main line, you've got your snap swivel right here that's gonna slide up and down your main line. You can uh, switch out your weight right here. So we've got different style weights. You can switch out your weights. So it makes it really easy because you can just switch out your weight. So you've got, depending on the different weight that you wanna use, different style of weights, probably do a video on that. But these are some different style of weights that makes it really easy when you're using a fish finder rig because all you do is you just put your weight on just like that on your snap swivel and again you guys this is gonna sit on the on the bottom and then you've got your leader line behind that and obviously that's where your bait's gonna be just right behind that so very easy this sits on the bottom you've got your leader line so some variations of the fish finder rig is yes the size of the rig size of the weights so in north carolina something that's really popular is catching big fully grown redfish red drum off the ends of the pier so people in north carolina they actually use a very small uh leader line in terms of not a lot of leader line at all the leader line is only about a few inches the reason why is because the shorter the leader line the more compact this rig is the further you're gonna be able to cast it out. So that's a variation of the fish finder rig is quite honestly just the type of leader line and the type of, uh, you know, the amount of weight that you're using. You wanna adjust the amount of weight that you're using with this fish finder rig to, you know, again, just the size of the bait and the size of fish that you're going for. So if you're going for like flounder and some of your smaller game fish, maybe you're just using one, two or three ounce weights right here and then maybe you're using a little bit longer leader line and you're using that live finger mullet so this right here this would work great this is a five out hook this is perfect for a uh, quarter chunk of blue crab half a chunk of blue crab or just some uh chunk bait some uh some like fresh cut mullet you can get from the tackle shop i like a longer leader line when i'm you know just having like live uh, bait fish on there or I'm not making as long casts if I'm fishing off of a jetty then this right here about a one foot leader line is Perfect if you're fishing for sharks This is probably the best rig for fishing for sharks Obviously, this is only like 30 pound test leader line. You would use wire leader So you probably use about 120 200 300 pound test wire leader so you know and even if you're catching like uh, king mackerel and some of your toothy predator fish then you're not going to be using fluorocarbon or monofilament you know this line you're going to be using a wire leader so and then you're going to be using probably seven or eight odd circle hooks so you're going to be using larger baits and you're probably going to be using eight to ten ounce uh, sinkers that you're going to be using on your snap swivel so you guys that right there that is the next most popular most effective beach fishing rig christy is going to show y'all the third most popular beach fishing rig all right so that would be the jig head so right here i've got my main line and i just have it tied a double uni knot to about a foot of my leader line and then the 1 8 ounce jig head right here on the end you guys can use a quarter ounce or even a 3 8 ounce if you're fishing uh say right here off the beach and there's a strong current and you really want that jig head to sit on the bottom or even a half ounce or a one ounce yeah you guys can really vary it up but it's just kind of cool because any of the bait that we just talked about on the first two rigs you guys can pretty much put right here on this jig head and if you guys say are fishing from the surf or from the jetty from the pier you guys can throw on cut bait shrimp um, even gosh I've never tried a blood worm but I'm sure you can catch fish on that um, right here on this jig head but I'd probably recommend just some cut shrimp um, even little small pieces of cut mullet if you guys have sand fleas that would do amazing on yeah, this right stack here. Stack sand fleas on that, catch yeah. red drum, boom! Oh yeah, right there, and if you guys are sand. if you guys are fishing right here from the surf, and you guys cast it out, and it's just kind of sitting at the bottom, and you guys are getting bored or you're not getting bites, you guys can slowly work it back to, especially if it's a shrimp. If you guys have like live pinfish, any kind of like small little gudgeons, little gudgeons would be perfect on here. You guys would be tearing up lots of fish with that.
boom, right in the surf zone. Yep. All you gotta do is just work it back nice and slow. Yeah, you guys can literally be jigging with the live bait, which is kind of cool. But if you guys are not into live bait, or if you guys don't have access to live bait for some reason, you guys only have artificials. Soft plastics do amazing right here from pretty much anywhere. Uh, so Jeff and I have tons of footage. He's gonna be rolling it right now of us catching fish right here off of the beach using some soft plastics artificials. You guys can pretty much throw anything that you want. I typically suggest something around a three inch uh, soft plastic. We use a lot of paddle tails. You guys can use curly tails. You guys can get creative and use bass lures. It doesn't really matter just as long as it has some scent and it's got some good action. You guys, a jig head, Christy and I, we use it from the beach honestly like all the time we 99 use of the, the high low rig all the time we use a jig head but as christy's rigging us up ah. for y'all it's one of the most popular baits and rigs in all of florida in the south and on our southern fisheries is a live shrimp on a jig head yes you cannot go wrong with that Definitely live shrimp on a jig head pour it out with some live shrimp on a jig head all right y'all so just a quick recap so let's say you're fishing off the pier or off the beach or a jetty and you just want to catch fish that's probably going to be your high low rig right mm -hmm. would you say oh yep absolutely if you guys have kids if you guys just want to get on anything from pompano trout and you just want to you don't really care what you're catching just want to catch fish high low rig is a really great way to go especially with two hooks you can't go wrong with extra bait on there and double nope. the chances of catching right. fish. So fish bites, blood worms. Yep, high low rig, you got your variation of the dropper rig if you guys want to switch it up and you want a little bit bigger bait. And then you've got the fish finder rig, which Jeff talked big, about. Big, big fish. You guys want really big fish? Yep, Cobia, use the fish finder sharks. rig. That's right. Don't forget your big wire trump. leader, hundred and something pound. That's right. Big barracuda, big kingfish. Right <laughs> off the end of the pier, stuff like that. Yep. And then if you guys want to, I don't know, just do something that's a little bit more versatile, but at the same time, maybe you don't want to just kind of bait and wait, as they say, then use the jig head. Mm -hmm. Or even if you do want to bait and wait, use the jig head too. If you just got one pole <laughs> and you just got one thing, use the jig head. So live shrimp, it's a little bit. I feel like stuff. it's more of like an active way of fishing, you right, know? There you go, You're not great just, way. Yeah. Very, very well there. put. That's right. So, all right, you guys, there's our top best rigs that you guys are going to probably see 99% of anglers using that we also use. Super effective, super versatile. Y'all can catch anything out there that swims with gills. You guys, please drop a line, drop a comment. If y'all have your favorite beach fishing rig, pier fishing rig, we would love to hear what that is. So these are just honestly like the three most popular, three most effective and versatile rigs. But if you guys have your own beach fishing rigs that y'all like to use or something that's different or a variation, let us know. Drop us a comment. Yep. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Help us out. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Peace out.